in this channel, we have horrible intros. But give me a second, I think I hear an enemy AC-130. Hold up. Imagine if this thing was a weapon, like you charge it up and a laser beam just comes out, vaporizing anything in sight, like a Kamehameha. That would be pretty sick and super dangerous. But today's video, also I'm trying not to cut, just like go with the flow because I get really anxious and super annoyed. So hopefully whatever comes out of my mouth is not stupid. But this battery, the B230V Sonewell battery, I've used this for over a year or eight months on my Aperture 120D Mark II. Outside, at a shoot at nighttime, so probably cold temperature, I don't know about hot, it runs at two hours, two hours, give or take, at full power, for sure full power, I have never ran out of juice on, on a shoot. So I know it's, 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 it's really worth it if you have an Aperture 120D Mark II. However, I tried to run the VL300 with just a single one of these and it just doesn't turn on. It doesn't turn on. So you need one in both compartments. You need one in both of these V mounts for the VL300 to turn on. So I tried putting a 250 just on the top to see if it would go up to like 50% or 25% before it just shuts off. No, it just doesn't turn on. I did, however, take this off and put this on and it still works. Obviously because it's 250 and 250, this is 220 watt max output and this is 220 watt max output, which this is a 300 watt light and it's well over the wattage that it needs. It's also a 12.8 volt, 17.2 AH, which I don't know what that means, but it works. It works, it has two D-tap, two D-tap, so if you are using it like for a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera or a rig, you could definitely attach two things. It also has a USB, so you could just power that with your Blackmagic or whatever camera you're using. And I'm pretty sure if it makes this light last for, ouch, if it makes this light last for two hours, your camera's probably gonna last a lifetime. But I'm not sure. Don't take my word. I don't use crazy rigs. I have a Sony a7R 3 I have an extension with a two dual battery thing, the, the grip, the battery grip. I'm having a panic attack. The battery grip, but today we're gonna talk about this whole crazy setup. So what I did was I attached the Aperture Spotlight to the VL300 and I put this in a backpack. So it's like Ghostbusters, you know, I have like a cannon of light and I walked around like Call of Duty showing you how bright of a light this is. And I thought it was pretty fun. I thought it was interesting. It literally makes like daytime. It's crazy. I'm gonna just run the footage, uh, enjoy. If you have any questions, comment down below. What, and I, I usually comment, I have the, I have this app on my phone that gives me a notification, TubeBuddy. It gives me a notification when someone leaves a comment, so I respond right away to your comments or questions, and I'll test things out. You know, if you ask me a question and I didn't answer it in this video, I'll just go really quickly, test it out, see if it works or answers your question, and then I'll just respond back to you. So today's video was about that. Enjoy the Call of Duty styled POV cannon light. I don't know what you wanna call it, the cannon light, but yeah. All right, it's kind of hard to turn on, but let me get my shoes on. 
Right now, I am shooting this at F11 ISO 1, ISO 500 and 1 50th of a second. Alright, this thing is at least 60 pounds, but hopefully no one shoots me because this thing looks like a cannon. Alright, cool. Alright, the settings right now are 1 50th of a second, F11 at 500 ISO. Let's bring this up to F5. Walk. Holy sh This thing is like daylight. I'm not gonna try to shine it at anyone's house. Look at that. I'm lighting up that whole apartment complex. Oh, 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 oh that is bright. Alright, cool. You can see everything. God. All right. Uh, Hundred and fifty pounds. And uh. okay. I'm calling it, guys. I can't hold this thing anymore. It's so heavy. I gotta turn everything off. Whew. Whew. By the way, Modern Warfare, one, two, and three, best storyline the gameplay for the storyline was so much fun. And I kind of miss being a kid and playing those storylines, falling in love with those characters. But now Modern Warfare is just trying to take your money with the extension packs and just online gaming. It doesn't really have a good storyline, which I really love about Modern Warfare or did about video gaming. I don't play video games anymore. I do have a PS4, but that's a side tangent. I'm just trying to remember if I forgot something. I just want to answer all the questions that I had when I was looking. Price, well, let's talk about price. The price for each, this one was like 200 bucks. Actually, I'm just gonna leave the link. Yeah, talking about it is just a waste of time. I'm gonna put it down in the link down below. Click on it, it'll just take you there. And yeah, also to charge it really quickly, like three hours, maybe maybe four hours, Full charge, both batteries, both batteries. Is this thing. So you can charge both. It has these little kickstands and it also has DC out and it charges. It tells you if both of them are completely charged when it is charged. And it has a fan, it cools it down while it's, it's kind of annoying. So you can't charge something while you're making a video if you really love audio because you're gonna hear a really loud fan going off in the middle of your video. Yeah, actually it takes off a lot of anxiety when you're just making the video. And I think that if you wanna be a YouTuber, I don't, I'm not a good YouTuber, okay? 
I never said I was, but if you want to be a good YouTuber, just be yourself. And try not to perfect any of your videos because it really does give you anxiety. And that perfectionist quality about anyone, just it's just a barrier and it stops you from creating content because you're worried that people are not gonna like the way you speak or the way you look or the information you're giving is not 100% accurate. Make sure your information is as accurate as possible, but this is YouTube. Just help as much as you can, and that's what I'm here for. Subscribe, ring that icon, and hopefully we can be friends. Well, I think that's everything. I don't have anything else. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my God, okay. This is very important. A lot of things I left out in my Aperture 120D comparison to the Godox VL300. And I got a whole bunch of dislikes. A lot of people asked me, in the comments I answered them, in the comments they asked very good questions. The reason why I was comparing the VL300 to the Aperture 120D Mark II, many, many reasons. Number one, you can turn off an Aperture 120D light instantly and turn it on instantly. Check this out. You can't do that with the VL300. You have to hold the switch and it turns on slowly. That's annoying. Why is that annoying? Because you don't have any effects, so you can't plug it in and plug it out, plug it in and plug it out to make like a flashing effect. Even that, you can't even do that. It has to boot up slowly. That sucks. Number two, the VL300. Is that even the name? Yeah, the VL300, sorry. The VL300 is magenta tinted. It has lower quality light than the aperture lighting and no effects, but that's it. That's why I compared the two together. For the same price, you're getting twice or three times the light output and I need light. I didn't really care about the flash and stuff like that. However, however, disclaimer, I regret my op decision. I wish I saved 200 to $300 and bought an Aperture 300D Mark II so I can use the effects together. I can sync them up. Y you know, that would have been really cool. I should have, ouch, damn it. I should have just stayed in that family, in the Aperture family. Their quality is better. At, after using the Godox VL300 on many shoots now, I can honestly recommend that if you had to choose and save a little bit of money, buy the Aperture 300, yes, over the VL Godox, the Godox VL lights. And if you don't have the money and you just want a light for YouTube, and just, just make sure you buy a color correcting gel that fixes that magenta tint. And that's it. So that's, that's everything. The whole video. Yes, I'm gonna ice my elbow because I think I shattered my elbow. But yes, the last video was doing really bad. It didn't have those things about it. And check this out. How cool is that? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Ah, oh, crap. Anyways, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm a horrible speaker. I don't have good information, but I wanna make more videos and I wanna be friends, and so just leave a comment down below. I will answer your questions as fast as I can. If there are concerns or you wanna know more stuff about this, I would love to make a video for you guys, but yeah. Leave a comment. I would love to have a discussion. Isn't it cool that this has a focus? You could focus the light. Cut the light. You, you.